Hey guys, how are we all doing? Welcome to my channel. If you're new here, my name's Saga and I'm currently a final year aerospace engineering student at the University of Sheffield. So currently for me, it is exam season. Fortunately though, I only have two exams because it is my final year and most of my year was spent doing my dissertation. I'm gonna keep this video short though because I still have to revise and stuff, but uh, hopefully I can still give you some insight into how you can do revision at university. So generally in engineering, you have like two different types of modules. So either you have like a really maths heavy module or you have a really content heavy module. More often than not, you do have more math modules or maths orientated modules than content modules, but uh, you do have to revise quite differently for each of these types. So that's what I wanna also share as to how you can re revise for each type of these modules. So for the easy type of modules, my favorite type of modules, which are the maths heavy modules, because maths heavy modules are quite simple to revise for. You just tend to do a lot of your tutorial practice questions, which are generally sheets that you get over the course of the semester or year, depending on how long the module is, that contain questions and problems and you to solve regarding whatever you're learning about. So it could be fluid mechanics, um, it could be you know, dynamics, whatever really. So that's one of my tips for how to revise for your really maths heavy modules. My second tip for revising for maths heavy modules is really to do the past papers because it's quite often that the past papers follow a similar structure each year. And if you understand the structure of your past papers, so for example, what are the type of questions that will come up more or less each year, then you're obviously able to practice these questions and be sort of prepared and be able to anticipate what is going to come up in the paper. The dreaded content heavy papers, yes, um, they're not my favorite at all because I really dislike revising content. Um, I, I find it so laborious and painstaking and that's why they're not my most favorite modules to revise for, but this is my explanation of what I do do to revise for these modules. So for these content heavy modules, I do often go over the lecture slides, try and make notes from the slides and condense my knowledge into sections of the content. So split up basically things talking about various aspects. So one exam I have, well my final and next exam currently is materials where we're doing about uh, composites and various manufacturing techniques and different things to do with carbon fiber composites and so on. So I'm currently re-watching the lectures and the slides and making notes on the various sections of the module to try and understand what each section is talking about and what information there is in the course. I feel by doing this you do start to get an understanding of the content and start to remember things because you do read it again and again. However, the good thing about my exam now is that it is open book so I don't have to try and cram as much in. I can also sort of work out how to make it more efficient to find the information I need to when I actually do the exam. So ultimately, I guess what you can say is if you're doing revision for a maths heavy module, then practice questions is basically your savior of how to do well in the exam. If you're revising for a content heavy exam, then it's always best to try and go over the same piece of information again and again from the course, either by writing notes or just reading the slides over and over again, this sort of helps me. It's probably not the most refined way for that type of content, but it has worked well for me and you know, that's what I think is probably the best thing you can do. So yeah, like I said, this video is pretty much shorter than the others because I do have to revise and so on as it is the dreaded exam season, but hopefully you learned some stuff in this video and subscribe if you want to see more videos like this one and also check out my other videos and like this video if you enjoyed what I was talking about and learned something new. Well, anyway, I shall see you guys around in another video. See you guys.